Hey guys, welcome to my channel, my name is Samim Supreme and this video is going to cover some of the important updates in Call of Duty Warzone that were released in patch 120. What the fuck? Before I get into the popular stuff that everybody's talking about, I would like to point out that we're finally able to drop our weapons. That's right, you can now weapon swap just by dropping it like you would with armor plates or ammunition. This honestly makes me happy. Alright, on to the good stuff. Most Wanted Contract This contract replaces the well-known Bounty Contract. Once you have picked it up, it places a marker on you that shows your location to everyone alive on the map. The contract time is 5 minutes, and the rewards are $3,000, 1,000 account XP, 400 weapon XP, and Team Revive. What is a Team Revive, you ask? Let me tell you. If everyone is alive, it's useless. But, if you have dead fellow teammates who failed in their gulag or just died repeatedly over and over again and you don't want to spend your cash on reviving them, you can just pick up this contract, stay alive for 5 minutes and ta-da! All of your teammates respawn just so they can die again. The next item in our menu is the armor satchel. It allows you to carry up to 8 armor plates instead of the regular 5. It cannot be dropped or purchased in the shop. It's a rare item that can be found as a drop in a random chest or as a reward from the scavenger contract. I consider this item a must have if you're an aggressive player. Oh, and speaking of scavenger contracts, Gas Mask is replaced by an armor satchel as a reward in the third chest. However, Gas Masks are still a rare drop that can be found in a random chest or purchased from the shop. Now, it's time to discuss the zone times. The match of Battle Royale had been extended from the point airplane shows on the map to the point everything is covered in gas by 1 minute and 40 seconds. It used to be a total of 25 minutes whereas now it's almost 27 minutes. The reason this happened is because now the gas is going to move slower. As you noticed, the first zone time had been shortened from 4 minutes and 30 seconds to 3 minutes and 30 seconds. However, every time the gas moves in consecutively after the first zone, the time had been extended by a tremendous amount. And since the circle radius didn't change, that means the gas will now move slower, thus giving you more time to move into the safe zone. I don't know how many times I've died to the gas being way too fast. This definitely helps out a lot of players who were not as aggressive in invading safe zone fast enough. They also added new vehicles and customization options. These gold ones are looking pretty good actually. At last, Plunder Rewards have received an upgrade in the form of coins that you get at the end of every match. I'm not much of a Plunder enthusiast myself, unless I need to level up a weapon, but I did try two matches and I got a gold coin for securing a third place with just under a million collected, and take this, I got a wood coin for being below top 10 securing 106k. Wood guys, that's just great. At this point I'm not even sure what these coins are for or where do you see them collected but I'm sure this will be less of a mystery in the upcoming days with the patch fixes. As always, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, tell me what you think of this new patch and what's your favorite part in the comments below. My favorite part is the ability to drop weapons. Thank you and go get them dubs.